I recently got an email from uh, Gary asking about where to put uh, or inject a signal into some of his radios for alignment. And he has a RCA X551 and a Zenith 6D612. And both of these uh, wiring diagrams are available at nostalgiaair.org. Both of these radios have an intermediate frequency of 455 KC. And I just chose the Zenith 6D612 to take a look at. There's a lot of information on this one page. And of course we have a list of capacitors and resistors. But here we start getting into a listing of items that we're going to need for the alignment. Taking a look at more of the descriptions, at the bottom we see that number one is the wave magnet assembly, two is the detector coil, and three is the oscillator coil. If we take a look at the wiring diagram, the upper left, you'll see a number one, that is the wave magnet. And we head over to the right, and just below R1 we see a two, that is the detector coil assembly. And in this picture here, at the lower left we see the three, that is the oscillator coil. If we move over to the last description box, we can see that number four and five are the first and second IF transformers. And here they are in the wiring diagram all the way over to the left. You can see the four, that's the first IF can. And just past the 12 SK7 GT is the 5 and that's the second IF. Back at the last description box we can see at the bottom we have A is the first IF, B is also the first IF but the secondary, C and D are the second IF, primary and secondary. And then we have F, which is the oscillator, G, the antenna, and H, the detector. I decided to take a look at A and B, which is the first IF. And we can see I've got it highlighted at the top and of course in the description. But notice below the description it is in the instructions for alignment. And also over to the right we have a drawing, a top view of the chassis and they have labeled which is A and which is B on that first IF. Looking at this drawing, we know that the wave magnet is number one, but if we move to the right and go below C1, we see point G, which is also in the alignment procedure. And if we move right of that, where it says 3, which is the oscillator coil, continue to move right, and below where it says R3 is F, 
another point to be adjusted in the alignment procedure. Here's a look at the overhead drawing again. And now we can see that all the adjustment points have been labeled for us. A, B, C, and D. G, H, and F. Now when I'm aligning a uh, radio, I always do this. I get familiar with the wiring diagram, the alignment instructions, and locate all the adjustment points first. Okay, now we're ready to take a look at the alignment procedure. And let's start with number one, operation. It says connect the oscillator to, that means the signal generator, to the converter grid. Well, that would have to be the converter tube on one of the grids. And then we see we have a dummy antenna which I take to mean as uh, we send the signal from the generator through a dot five microfarad capacitor and of course the frequency is 455 KC. Continuing on with number one we can see that's the broadcast band. Well there's no choice in this radio there's no switch between bands. We set the dial on the radio to 1600 KC and then with the signal injected we adjust A, B, C, and D. And what that means is we adjust it for peak performance and it's very important when you're injecting a signal into a radio that you use the lowest amount of energy RF energy so you don't activate the AVC circuit. Basically the question that I got from Gary was how to inject the signal and where? Well it says the converter tube but it doesn't say what grid. And if we go to Nostalgia Error and look up the 12SA7 we do get the pinout of this and I would use uh, pin 8. And if we take a look at another drawing on the diagram we do have the pinouts and if you compare the drawings from Nostalgia Error and this drawing, you'll see that the pinouts match exactly. In other words, take a look at the key and the pin directly to the right is pin 1. I only inject the signal if I absolutely have to. On these radios, I found that if you set your generator to 455 KC and here I'm running it through a dot zero four seven microfarad capacitor and in this radio I'm just laying that alligator clip coming from the generator on the antenna and I can align the IF cans by sending that signal through the antenna. Now if I think it is too strong I can turn down the signal generator or simply move the wire a little farther away from the antenna. And it works fine. The key to getting an accurate alignment in these types of radios is to use a very small amount of signal so you don't overdrive that automatic volume control. 